everyone welcome to today's video welcome to the gamer dad channel thank you very much for tuning in so there's something that i usually allude to in the game when i'm talking about certain things or my character progression and i think there was a little misunderstanding i was talking about my shade level and talking about how i had a different account and a different character and some people thought that i meant that i had a different character and i wasn't efficiently playing the game well, say hello for those of you who have not met this character to my second PC account. This is an entirely separate account where I got bored and I started, I bought the game again. I created a new Uplay account and I started playing. Uh, and I think I played uh, from level 30 to 40 on this account. I did the boost. I didn't waste time playing level 1 through 30. Nope, that was not on my radar. I just did the boost and then I played through Rulers of New York and I used to come in here and play legendaries because, you know, it's just a, <laughs> it's a gamer tag and a Uplay tag that nobody knows. I'll run the DZ and do all kinds of fun stuff. Now, I'm making this video because finally somebody, you know, decided to comment and tell me that I wasn't crazy. So, Mad Dog 67 on my last video about open world builds, he said... Uh, he laughed and he said, I thought I was the only one with multiple accounts across console and PC. Had it been on sale yesterday, I would have bought the PC version again, so I could not have to worry about full inventories, 12 boot builds worth of different gear on all my characters. So far, only two tunes on my PS4 account, but it's only a matter of time. So apparently, there are some of us that are just crazy that have this need to be distracted and we use the division to distract ourselves there are many of you like this in this community don't hide talk to me in the comment section so i don't look like i'm crazy because a lot of people have been hounding me in fact i saw someone i don't think they've been on my channel before and they were like man you have 200 shade level why not at least get to 100 1000 uh, shade level before you actually give any advice on this game i was like bruh the amount of division i've forgotten <laughs> i'm sorry no no you know i'm not trying to be offensive but the amount of division i've forgotten you haven't touched if you wanted to actually go that route because for most of us, we spend our time engaging the game differently, if you get what I mean. And so that was something that was really cool in having to, you know, discuss all of those different elements uh, in terms of the division, in terms of all of that. And I think that really did, you know, resonate, especially having somebody that was able to come in and say, you know, I've done this before. And I think it's something that I really do uh, enjoy myself. Now, here's the thing. The division is such an interesting, unique game that for most of us we play the division so much when it comes time to actually you know try to jump on another game we find ourselves in a really weird conundrum the conundrum is actually very simple you really don't know what else to do you're literally running around you're looking at everybody else you're wondering uh should i go play this game or should i go play that game in fact i would do things like i would start researching other games that are out there ready to come out and I wonder to myself, you know, is any of these games going to be interesting to me? Because I fear that I'll buy them and I'll play them for a few hours and I don't necessarily get, you know, the same value or the same experience or the same fun or whatever it is that I usually get from the division itself. So I find myself in a position where I pick up another division project, be it division one or even be a division one on Xbox. I have another character on Xbox that I'm trying to get to level 40. Um, you know, this is something else that I also got distracted and bored doing. Uh, and this is crazy. And so I think that's probably one of the aspects of it. Then like, you know, basically the, you know, audience member said, it's nice to just forget all the worries that you have regarding gear and all of this stuff and trying to, you know, get your character leveled up, it can really get somewhat tasking uh, on the long run. And so that's another thing, too, that, you know, you can you can basically benefit from by just kind of eliminating those troubles, because your character, even though it comes with a lot of power, if you're logging in, there might still be a little bit of some troubles that that character comes with that you really want to kind of go ahead and i don't know maybe experience in a sense so here's my main pc character i'm playing on stadia here 
and this is the one that's got shade level 751 so for that person that said my shade level is really you know small so take that 250 shade level take the 751 shade level take the 400 i think i'm 400 and something shade level on playstation add it up together and deposit it into your bank account and everyone's gonna cheer and clap for you and say woohoo you got you got a thousand shade level oh my goodness that is so awesome that is so delightful <laughs> i've always never really paid attention to shade levels anyways because i just kind of thought you know they tied it to a lot of the progression but i just got bored on my way trying to get my main character up to shade level 1000 that i just decided somewhere along the line i'm just gonna go focus on another character and if i ever make it to shade level 1000 i'll be happy with it maybe or maybe not and i think i'm probably gonna do it on playstation uh you know first who knows i'm closer here on pc but you know I, if it gets boring for me on playstation i'll rock on pc it doesn't really matter at the end of the day but you know again it's still nice to see the experience being shared by people in the community because somehow we just find ourselves enjoying this game now, something that I also want to go ahead and point out is when it comes to shooters, this is where the worst case scenario is for me. I don't know about some of you. Uh, me, I can probably hop into other games that I've already played before that I like, uh, that are other uh, adventure games, third person. But shooters are the ones that really give me a lot of anxiety because honestly, the division is just so clean. Animation wise, open world wise, aesthetically uh, environment based, you know, even if I want to get the dark, you know, I want grim side of the division, it's too easy. Fire up the division one on Xbox Series uh, X or fire it up on PC, and you're gonna get that aspect of the game that is just so unique and pristine that you really cannot get the level of game in many other video games out there. I mean, yes, there are some video games that do depict New York in a very solid, you know, light, but I'm not really a huge Spider-Man fan. I am somewhat of a superhero games fan, but Spider-Man is not my cup of tea. I'm a huge, huge Batman fan, no doubt. I like Batman so much, but I've beaten the Arkham games so many times. It's actually quite pathetic how many times I've actually beaten, uh, you know, the Arkham games, except, except Arkham Asylum. But everything else I've beaten at least three times. And so sometimes I'll go in there and I'll play those games, but I play the combat mode and all that stuff, but it doesn't really provide the longevity and the, that consistent challenge that the division itself can bring. You know, there's so many things you can create for yourself in this game. For me, it's running with random players. That to me is a challenge. How can I be successful in a team of people that I don't know because my introvertedness comes out? Sometimes it's me running or, you know, running with clan members on PlayStation. And so there's just different things that actually lock us into this ecosystem. And I think Massive has really, you know, in a sense, created a product that we cannot argue with, you know, to an extent. It's quality. It could be better. My many, many leaps and bounds, it could be better. I'm not saying that, oh, this is the best game in the world. No, don't get me wrong. There are other games that are harder hitting games in terms of their own, you know, work. But, you know, it doesn't really give me, in my opinion anyways, it doesn't really catch my attention as much as this game does. Now, here's the thing. I'm hoping that in the next few years, we actually get newer games and newer titles that would actually take, you know, this cake and not have us just in a place where we feel like we're locked into one video game in a sense. I feel like that's something that very soon it will be nice for us as gamers to see basically adding more to the library and providing a lot more variety where <laughs> we're not taking these extreme actions and going to get other accounts, uh, you know, just to be able to provide ourselves a little challenge or at least reminisce what the game was like in the beginning with, you know, all of the different uh, hurdles that we have to jump through and all of the above. But nonetheless, uh, I think that's something that I wanted to go ahead and just discuss. And I wanted you guys in the comment section, those of you who participate in this kind of shenanigans, go into different accounts across different platforms. Uh, and, you know, some of you might be content creators. Yeah, you could talk about it, too, because, you know, it's part of the time that you spend investing in this game. Nothing wrong with it, but I'd love to hear about it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate you guys' time and audience, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Peace out.